Hey guys, this is yet another GIMP text effect tutorial. And as you can see here today, we're going to be adding a simple but nice looking uh, chrome effect to our text. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you're going to need to um, add two new things to your GIMP. One is a script and one is a plugin. Okay, so once you have those installed and you've restarted GIMP, go ahead and create a new image. I'm using 600 by 400 pixels, as usual. And then um, go ahead and get your text tool and change your foreground color to a medium gray. Our mine's just right perfectly in the middle. And the font I'm going to be using is called Georgia. It's a pretty standard font, but you can use any font you want. Probably you'll want to use a, a serif font, which means it has as little um, things coming off the ends of the text. And then the size I'll be using is 125 pixels, and uh, I'm going to add a little bit of spacing between the letters. And just click on your canvas and type your text. And grab your alignment tool and center your text. Then go to your background and get your gradient tool, your blend tool, and change your foreground color to a dark blue. Well, you can use any other color you want. I'll be using this dark blue color. And the background is going to be a slightly lighter version of the same color. Then you want to make sure you're on your background layer and uh, click and drag something like this so it starts kind of a little bit above the bottom of your text and ends a little bit below the top of your text. And you can hold down the control key to make it stay perfectly vertical. So you get a simple background like that. Then go back to your text layer. Then we're going to use the script foo. So go to script foo layer effects, bevel and emboss. Then what you want to do is change this style to inner bevel. Increase the depth to 10 and the size to 10 as well. Then also you want to increase these two opacities up to 100 and click merge with layer and then press OK. And you should get something like this. So it adds a kind of 3D beveled effect to the text, but you can see it's still kind of dull looking, it doesn't look very shiny or anything. So we still need to jazz it up a little. Um, so first we're going to duplicate the text layer and click the box to lock the alpha channel. Then reset your colors oops, to black and white. Make sure you solve your gradient tool and click the bottom and drag straight up. Then lower the layer's opacity to about 20%. And then go ahead and right click on the layer and choose merge down. Next, go to colors curves this is where we're going to really give it a chrome look so um, you want to drag the curve to make it have a kind of wavy shape something like this you can play around with it you'll want to look at your text at the same time that you're doing it you can see how it how the different highlights and things change as you move these up and down so you can just play around with it until you get it to look the way that you like. So something like that. Then just press OK. But you can see uh, it looks kind of ugly because there's all these little jaggy edges all over the place. So that's why we installed the GMIC plugin. So go to Filters. GMIC. And we're going to use Enhancement and Anisotropic Smoothing. See, GMIC has all these different filters and stuff in it. And this one, this one particular filter is basically the same as the original Gracie Storation plugin. So if you have Gracie Storation, or however you say that, then you can just use that filter instead. But so we're just going to change the amplitude to 100 and increase this one all the way to the max and then change the iterations to two and press OK.
what that does is it smooths out the rough edges so you can see the changes it made then all we want to do is make the colors a little the text a little brighter so go to colors levels and um, drag this end down to around 220 or so and then drag this up to about 25 or 30 press ok so that just made the text a little brighter okay that's basically oh wait actually one more step go to script foo layer effects again and this time we're going to use the stroke option and we want our stroke to be inside the boundary of the text so we're going to move this all the way down to zero zero for inside and then we want the blending mode to be set to grain merge and lower the opacity to about four, uh, 40 or maybe 50 and click merge with layer and then OK. So that just added a little outline to our text to make it look a little more shiny I guess. Uh, that's Yeah that's it for the text effect itself. If you want to add a reflection like I had in the original image then you can duplicate your text layer uh, move this to the bottom, then get your flip tool, change it to vertical, and flip it upside down. Then get your move tool, change it to move the active layer, and move it down. You can hold down control to make it stay perfectly so it only moves vertically. And so move it down something like that. Then right click on this layer and choose add layer mask get your blend tool and stroke a gradient like straight up like this and then lower the layers opacity to about 60 or so and if you're not quite happy with how the reflection fades out you can go to colors levels and play around with this a little bit until you get it the way you want instead of having to redraw the gradient over and over again until you get it the way you want and lastly I guess we'll add a little shadow to the text so make a new layer above the reflection get your ellipse select tool I'm going to zoom in a little for this and um, draw a really skinny ellipse like this on the bottom of your text or just, just on one of the letters and then um, use your bucket fill to fill that in with black. Okay, then go to just do Control C, Control V to copy and paste it, and move the copy to over here. You can hold down Control to make it stay perfectly in line with that, and just paste it under the next layer. Then do uh, Control V again to paste it again, move it over. Control V, paste it again, move it over. And then just click outside to anchor it. So there you have your basic shadow. And then we can just go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I think five should be good. And yeah, then maybe lower the opacity just a little bit to like 80. And that adds a little shadow. So yeah, that looks pretty good. And that's the end result. So thanks for watching.